Hello Tres, uh, Hello Tres, the catch of this video is uh, how to trade beyond the third in your wave S&P 500 index. I'm on the monthly chart of the S&P 500, the standard and poor index. Right, and we want to discuss how one can trade beyond okay, the third in your way. When we pass the third in your way, it becomes quite challenging to trade okay using okay to trade the fourth wave and the fifth wave because most investors will go away right so they have been in the first wave most first buyer created the first wave so they were in position before everybody else and then they reload it again during the second wave and now the third wave is almost done okay hopefully not Okay, sometimes the third way can be extended, of course. So, if they think that the third way has ended, they just they will just clear off, they will go away, all right? And that's why it becomes quite challenging to trade beyond the third in your way. A lot of traders sometimes, though they have made a lot of money during the first and the third wave, they give away everything during the fourth and the fifth wave, all right? So how do we handle that? All right. So previously we counted wave, that's the first wave, second wave, a third wave right there. As I said to trade it before, the third in your way can still be extended. Something is bothering me a bit here. What's that, George? You see, uh, recently we see, we were telling today that we were expecting a fourth in your way. You can see my line still here. And the number is somewhere hidden there, number four, followed by the fifth wave. That's it. We are expecting a fourth wave, followed by the fifth wave. And the price did come down to that level almost. You see, this one got a tail. Huh? Don't want to move this line. So this the price came down very fast here. Now, something is worrying me is the way the price is going back up very fast. It's going almost vertical. I don't like this. I don't like this. So what is going through my mind? I'm asking myself, is it because of uh, the conflict between the United States and China? Do you remember they were talking about uh, all right, the tariff, putting up tariff on Chinese goods? All right. Is that why we have this move down? Now, they are trying to, okay, rectify that, to solve that problem. So things are improving between the United States and China, talking about the trade, the tariff, and everything else, all right? So I'm wondering, is it because of that kind of decision, that kind of sentiment that the price came down here? Now that they are trying to solve it, going back to close it up, it is moved down, a distortion, because I don't like the way the price is going up vertically here. So if that is the case, suppose that this move now is a distortion or an exaggeration, and the prime manages to go to close it up, which means rectify the, core, the, the distortion. Well, if that is the case, we will expect again an orderly fourth way. But we are not yet out of the woods yet. Okay? The prime can still print out a different uh, corrective wave in the shape of a fourth wave. We can even have, uh, okay, a triangle in this session here. You see, it comes down like this. It may go up and down many times, forming a triangle here. It can even form what we call a zigzag pattern here. But I doubt it that you will form a zigzag pattern, but anything is possible. Right, because uh, the third way has been uh, in place since 2009 up to 2018. So nine years, good bullish moon. And we see that pullback. Is it a distortion? Do you agree or disagree? So what I've said at the beginning of this tutorial is that it is challenging to trade beyond the third wave. By the way, we are recording this video today because a trader Bill, a long-term okay, YouTube fan, has asked me to look at this chart because uh, it looks like a uh, head and shoulder chart pattern. So traders are looking at it. They say this is the head. And they say this is 
de lef han shashuram and de espetin e rai han shashuram. We will see. We will see. Now, the reason why I'm a bit worried about this move up, I will not think too much about that head and shoulder chart pattern. I'm not saying that it's impossible. Why? Because of uh, the way the price is still in this uh, pitchfork tool. The pitchfork tool will determine the possible path that the price will take. So far, the third way can be still be extended. If it close it as it's going down and push it all the way above the the third way continuing, that will be an extension. We will see how so far we leave it there as it is now. All right? So we have already mapped out the chart. The price is in that uh, black pitchfork tool. It's telling us that the, the price has a high chance to stay within the boundaries of that pitchfork tool. So where we are now, we shouldn't be bearish anymore because the price went down to the lower part of the pitchfork tool now is back above the media now the pitchfork tool so it's going up but there's something i want you to understand is this as i went to the quarterly chart to investigate and i apply the fibonacci retracement to this kind of cyber from the high to the low well the quarter that has ended uh, in December 2018 in the quarterly chart. Apply Fibonacci retracement to that bill, all right? And now you will notice that where we are now, we are now at 78.6% Fibonacci retracement or this move down, okay, of that candidacy bar. Because of that, all I would suggest to traders, because it's challenging to trade beyond the third wave, we map out the chart, we want now to flow with the price, trading around key level, looking for trading opportunity in a hot spot trading zone and also on the edge. So where we are now, because of that Fibonacci retracement applied to that quarterly, chart, quarterly candlestick bar, price now 78.0, I put 78.0, Fibonacci retracement, I will say to you, priority to bullish signal above 2.8%. One six, and priority to bearish bearish signal below two eight one six. That is the green line right there. Another level that trader must note down is the mid point target, mid uh, the media line of that uh, the media line of the range of that uh, quarterly candlestick bar. Note it, just note it down. Two six four three. Note it down. Priority to bullish signal above 2816 and priority to bear a signal below that. That's where we are now. All right. The third way can still be extended, but we were expecting another fourth wave. Is he already in place? Are we now in the fifth wave? Just map out the chart and take it one step at a time until things become clear. Otherwise, if you are just uh, relying on the area wave forecast alone, expecting things to be clean cut, it may not be clean cut, it can be messy, and uh, you may miss some opportunity or you may end up making a mistake. So therefore, at this point in time, what I would recommend to trade that are trading now, the FLP 500, Draw this piece for two on your chart. You see, yeah. talk about it before, okay. From the low, okay, of the quarterly candlestick bar. What is it? Yeah, I'm going back. I'm going back to the bell of me, please. Right here. Where is my where is my information? All right, from this point here, okay, just 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 see it on the map. You see there was this low, and there was this second low here, attaching the moving average two hundred here. This one here, connect those three points, and this point here, and this one here. Draw the pitch for two. As long as we stay within the boundary of the pitch for two, it's still bullish. All right, is this the fourth wave? We will see. 
It's just a distortion. We will find out soon. But right now, the level that we must watch is 78.6%. Fibonacci replacement level on that quarterly chart is at a 2.816 prior to bullish signal above, prior to bear signal below. Remember that the price is also above the median line of that P42. Will it pull back a bit to touch it be, or even have a tail before going back up? We will see. So if we drop down to the daily chart, here it is, you see. On the daily chart, it's looking like, uh, you see. So on the monthly chart, you are see, thinking of a uh, head and shoulder chart pattern. All right, we will see whether it's going to form that. If it's going to form that, you will find a resistance here and start going down. We'll see. But on the daily chart, it's looking more like what? <laughs> An inverted head and shoulder chart pattern. Taking into consideration this uh, funny, so to speak, in inverted head and shoulder chart pattern, we can push it all the way here, to, as call this line as uh, the from here all the way up there, and uh, from the data chart we can project it up, bringing us to uncharted territory. Do that and leave it on your chart on the daily chart, right? Because some trader will be looking at that. So priority to bullish signal above two eight one six. So. Right now on the daily chart, what is finding a bit of resistance there, acknowledging that the 2816. Remember what I said to you before, that correction that we were expecting on the fourth wing can be also a triangle, even a zigzag, more likely to be a triangle. Uh, or if it's a distortion, we may have an extension of that third wave. All right? Unless, we will see, we will see. Right now it's not very clear. I don't want to speculate. I leave it as it is now. I don't want to talk too much. We leave it as it is flowing. We, we want to work this level clearly. And we work, we want to work with the pitchfork tool that I tell, pull that pitchfork tool in your chart. That's showing the direction of the price. See, it went from the top of the pitchfork tool. It come back to the lower of the pitchfork tool. Now it goes back above the media now. Is it going to go back on top there? draw the median line of the upper half of the P42, okay? And just map out your chart because it's challenging, okay, to trade beyond, okay, the third way, as I've already explained it to you. If I connect, so all I'm doing, I'm just connecting point. So yeah, you will see connected this low here, this day, right? And uh, okay, and this one here, you bring below it, you retest it a bit here. This is today, below retest. So do exactly the same thing on your, your all right, on your daily chart, and then implement a top down trading method. All in all, not much to say at this junction, prior to bullish signal, both 2816. Remember the level of 2643, 2643, two, two, which is the median line of that quarterly chart. If uh, you go down to the daily chart, this is what's going on now on the daily chart, you see. All right. So are we going to have uh, a kind of uh, consolidation here on the daily chart, on the hourly time frame? You see here, this level down here. Okay, we will see now. Is it going to go up there? So we take it one step at a time. All right. If we drop, if we push it far away to the yearly chart, same story like a quarterly chart. All right. This is where we are now. All right. So one more thing before I wrap it up, because I talk about the media line of that quarterly candle C bar. You may be wondering where is the top of it. Okay, right. Where it is. Okay. Put a high there in that zone. It's a zone of a 2941. And also, uh, the low here in the zone of a 2339 in the zone, all right? And the media line is at a 2643, prior to bullish signal above 2816. All in all, looking at our previous wave count. I will not change anything yet. All right, reviewing our previous week count, first wave, second wave, 
We are in a third wave, we are expecting a fourth wave. Is this a fourth wave? Or is it a distortion? It looks to me more like a distortion. Okay. Or is it a lunar alien wave pattern? I'll be talking about lunar half moon. They talk about half moon alien wave pattern. Okay, we'll be talking about that in the near future. Half moon alien wave pattern. By crashing down like this, going back up a bit, like the water coming out of the pipe, pipe and hitting the ground and bouncing up. This is the scenario here. Right? You see why? When you eject water from the pipe, all right, the strong water coming out of the pipe, and it goes like a half moon, and then it hit the ground, and then it bounce up. You see what we are having here? So, not too much speculation at this point. We leave it as it is. If it becomes clear, we'll come back again and review our wave count. Thank you, Bill, for asking an essential question. Right now, it's not easy to say whether it's a head and shoulder chart pattern. There is a resistance there, the 78.6 percent of Fibonacci retracement level. That's all we will focus on and also the pitfall tool. So all in all, draw that pitfall tool, highlight that key level, highlight the high, the median line, and the low of that quarterly and the C bar. Look for trading setup around those key levels in conjunction with the pitfall tool, and then implement a different time frame trading method map of your chart and do not assume anything because it's quite challenging to trade beyond the third in your way. So this will conclude our discussion today about how to trade beyond a third in your way S&P 500 index. We are recording this video today because um, all right, a YouTuber of the name Bill did ask me, George, would you like to look at the S&P 500 one more time? It looks more like a head and shoulder chart pattern. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us your beautiful thumbs up. If you dislike it, be sure to mark it down. However, if you think it's an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google+, Plus, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. Sometime I'm posting video first on Facebook. My Facebook page is stochastic macd Follow us on Facebook also. For Elliot Wave Trading, my YouTube channel is 24 Elliot Waves. YouTube channel, DG24 Elliot Waves in plural. Subscribe to them and be sure to click on the notification bell. So anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the GSTW24 traders talking about how to trade beyond a third in your wave SP 500 index. To learn more about in your wave or in your wave, today say, so you say in your wave, it's not in your wave, it's in your wave. Okay, let me use my Texas accent in your wave, in your wave. If you want to learn more about in your wave, all right. Go to www.24iliotwave.com. Happy to meet you all, and I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching.